Hey, 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 it's your boy Abu, ABU, cause you can't be me, and we is back at it again with a new video. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey, this one to be real quick, real quick, real quick, cause I don't want to go into too much detail, I'm going to do that on another video. But I do want to tell you, before we get into the video, that it's going to be nice, short, and simple, even though our video is going to be real quick. And the thing that I came to tell you in this video is this. Take care of your body. A lot of people just think it's all about the spirit man. But your body is the temple of the Lord. It is the temple of the Most High Yah. Your body needs to be taken care of so that you can be able to receive certain things from the Lord. Yes, sir. Before Samson was being used, his mother had to have a certain diet. And then Samson, after being born, had to follow that certain diet. We have to fast time to get poured into. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it is important that you take care of your body. During the Old Testament, these are not like laws of the God, but these were the laws of the Jewish people. And these laws were stuff that kept them, kept them healthy, kept them in a good, healthy place. They dietary laws. Dietary laws are important. But now he gave us, Jesus came and he cleaned everything and said, everything is clean. Everything is okay to eat. Because we got to keep in mind though, when he made everything clean and everything okay to eat. Like, when they, for example, when they was over there in Babylon or Syria, uh, Daniel, he wouldn't eat the food, not because the food was meat, but he wouldn't eat the food because the food was prepared for another God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's not necessarily the end of the world, the worst thing when you decide you want to eat meat. But know that everything, because the Lord came and he cleansed every food and made every food okay for us to eat. Our Lord and Savior. Who? Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Or Yahshua. But they came and they cleaned the food and made it okay for every man to eat. But at the same time, the food that we eat still have their what? Their <clears throat> They still have the food that carries certain diseases that are responsible for a lot of diseases. They still have the food that, that, that can give you heart attack, that can make you gain weight. You don't want excess fat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But also, you also got food that make your blood flow through your body exactly how it's supposed to. You know what I mean? That help you breathe better. That give you a, 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 a better um, physique. You know, these like, your food matter because remember that the Lord made you. He molded you with his hands. So he do care about your appearance. He did take his time to perfectly shape you up. And he did not make anybody in, a, in an unhealthy state. He made all of us perfectly well, nice, strong, beautiful man, right? Beautiful woman. He made us that way. So just remember, just remember, just remember. Take the time to take care of yourself. Take care of your spirit, take care of your body, and take care of your mind because it's the total man, yes sir. The entire man is what matter, yes sir. If you come and you want to move in people's life, you gotta be able. Some people they want to see you in the physical before they see your spirit. Some people want to see your spirit, man, before they, before they see your your flesh, man. But we are all three of them: the mind, the body, and the soul. So take care of the mind, the body, and the soul because you never know which one might come through to be able to help the next man because sometimes you got to come down into your flesh and understand where you came from in your flesh to be able to relate to a man that's living in sin and living in a fleshy place. Sometimes you can't come to Almighty and all spirit, right? Because, hey, you can't relate to me, my brother. You can't relate to me, my brother. But the truth is that we usually could relate, but we decided that we're not going to relate to our own brother because we went so far away and pulled apart for who we once was. Don't do that. Remember who you was and where you came from so you can pour into the next man. But, hey, thank you for tuning into the video. I told you it was going to be nice, short, simple. So, hey, that's all. I am officially going.